Okay, everybody, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts. We just got to Ikea. So, and we, and the Ikea here in Portland, Oregon is right next to the Portland airport. So, um, I had to wait a little bit because there was a plane going overhead, but this is it. Pretty excited. This is only my third time to go. This is just not our second time in Oregon, and then we went once and when we were in Florida. Um, this place is not close to where we live. What is it, like two hours? about two hour drive so we don't come here very often because it's pretty hectic crowded up here so I'm gonna do my best to film inside but I don't want to get other people if I can help it especially children so there may be more pictures or maybe me just filming but not talking so but I will get try to get as much footage as I possibly can for all of you make sure I'm not going to get run over as I'm filming here. So I have my list together so I don't forget the furniture pieces I want to get today. There goes a plane right there in the back. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Oh, they're behind the trees ready. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to stop filming for a moment, but I'll film walking in. Purple. Okay. It's just the inside shot here. And they have these escalators where you can take your cart up there if you need to. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and stop and we'll help them again once we get to the section where I'm going to be buying stuff. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I wasn't able to, oops, let me zoom out a little bit. I wasn't able to do like a lot of vlogging like I wanted to. There are just a ton of people here. So there's less people down here in like in the home kitchen kind of glasses, kitchenware type of area. So Steve went upstairs to go grab um, one item that we forgot. But let me show you what I have. Lots of purple, you guys, lots of purple here. So um, we got um, a couple bath mats. Um, this is actually a bath mat. It's a purpley color. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the video, but this is gonna be going upstairs in um, outside my door for my upstairs craft room, just to kind of like wipe your feet and that kind of stuff. And then we got some new bath towels. Um, I got a couple curtain rods, one for upstairs, one for down. I got one of those paper rolls with the um, cutters. The trimmer, paper trimmer, thought that'd be kind of fun for Kyron when we do art and stuff at the house when he's over. And then I can also have it in my craft room too. Um, got a couple of surge protector packs. Got the paper for it. Got some bulbs. I got another one of these lights, these lamps. I'm not sure if there's a good picture on it. People are looking at me, but that's okay. I don't care. I don't know who they are. That's what the lamp looks like, but it's white. So I, I already have one. I love it. So I got another one for that room. Um, let's see. I got a cork board so I can make another vision board, inspiration board. Some of the stuff I'm not going to show you until I, we get home because it's just kind of crammed in here. And then I got some more of these uh, baskets to go just for general storage in my room. Grabbed a couple different napkins to turn into paper. And then these are some little gold, um, like bulldog type of clips. thought those were cute. This is a kitchen mat, but I got it to use for like another craft mat. This is a table tray for me to use when I'm upstairs when I'm not um, doing good. And I have to stay upstairs. And then I got these for some rags for my craft room. Um, what's this? This is what my beauty. Look at this. These are my curtains for my upstairs room. I have a set of Rachel Ashwell Shabby Chic Lavender curtains for downstairs so these are going to go for upstairs i love them they're beautiful there's so much purple here you guys there's more i got but it's like kind of buried um i got a pillow for my craft room you might want my chair this is the pillow rolled up the pillowcase got buried somewhere and then i found over here this beautiful blanket they have them all the way up to king but this is just kind of like an extra throw blanket so i just got the twin it's absolutely beautiful and then down here 
We got, oh here, I got those purple napkins. I grabbed, I think, three packs of those dark purple napkins. Just some kitchen stuff. Got those towels to use for um, some fabric journals. They got the red stripe on them. And then the big stuff we have to go get here in just a minute. When Steve comes back downstairs from going to grab that item we forgot we're going to head over to the area where you get your items off the shelf yourself i'll try to remember to vlog that in case you haven't seen that before but i'm i'm getting um some of the stuff i wrote down on the list i'm getting three of the calyx white units this uh one certain size everything else you took a picture of so i didn't have to write anything else down but i found some really good pieces for my rooms and i'm really excited I'm so excited i can't wait so um, I'm going to owe Steve huge big time for putting all this stuff together. We think we're actually just going to pay our um, nephews to come do it for us. <laughs> so just to kind of let you see around here, in case you haven't been to one. I'm just trying not to film anybody because I don't want to be disrespectful. So, But it's a pretty it's pretty cool. I mean, there's lots of other videos on YouTube about Ikea trips and stuff. So we just went through the craft area upstairs with the kids, but there were way too many kids up there for me to try to film. So... Um, that's where I got the paper and then this the cutter for it so anyway just kind of hanging out until Steve comes back down but I wanted to check in real quick since I didn't vlog upstairs like I wanted to but I will try to vlog when we get to the area where you it's like a it's like it looks like a Costco warehouse and you go and pick up your items because you write it you can either take a picture of the tag or you can write it down on the papers they give you and then you go and find it tells you the aisle and everything where you want to go so anyway go down here they got such cute stuff in here we we're looking at some stuff for our house like you know kitchen you know kitchen work because we're going to be redo remodeling our kitchen we just we um steve wanted to focus on getting my craft room done first because i'm temporarily set up in the kitchen right now or the dining room kind of living room area so i need to be out of there before we can do the kitchen so trying to push this cart it's stuck on something sorry so anyway all right well here comes a group of kids and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and end it for right now and i'll see you guys in the next clip okay so here we are in the self-service furniture area and this is what it looks like you go um when you look at the tags or the paper off of what you want it tells you where it's located and what aisle it's on so you have all of these all of these rows and rows and rows of stuff so when you head to the checkout that direction again just in case you haven't seen this before so that's why I'm showing you okay all right so Steve had to go get another hand cart I ended up getting um okay so I got four of the Calyx drawer units or I mean the Alex drawer units and then um four of the Calyx cubes which are like that but they're they're not they're more rows if that makes sense and then I got the drawer, the drawer options, the two drawer options that go inside the calyx. I didn't get a set for each cubicle because I'm putting paper in there, but I wanted those. And then my another purple chair. So I have a purple chair for upstairs. It's so cute. It's a little rolly thing. So he went to go get another thing. All we have left to get is a dresser, which sounds weird, but it's going to look really cool in the room. And then my table and then we're done. So just wanted to kind of check in again. And then that is where, let's see, up there is like, yeah, where we would check out, where we'll check out. And they have like the, I think they call it like the last chance area or something like that, where they have like discounted things. But these are just some more of the aisles. Everything's labeled really nicely and it's really easy to get things out. Of course, I'm not the one breaking my back getting the heavy stuff off, but I'm trying not to film kids. But they, um, you know, yeah, pretty organized back here, I have to say. So, um, I will see you guys in the next clip. Not sure when that's going to be. Okay, guys. So this is all of the purple goodies that I found at Ikea. There's one additional purple. Well, there's a couple other purple things but they had other colors mixed in that I didn't care for. Um, there was a really pretty, um, it was kind of like a duvet cover and I was going to kind of modify it and make it into my curtains for downstairs. But then Steve found this gorgeous panel set and it comes two in a set and look at that gorgeous ombre. So that is gonna be my, um, these are gonna be my panels for my upstairs room. 
this is a pillow uh, cover. I, have, I don't want to unwrap the, open the pillow yet because it's rolled up, you know, like in kind of like how that blanket is. Then I found some purple napkins, another pack down there. This is a blanket that I'm probably, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as, I call my blankets woobies. I have pretty much my whole life. So I don't know if that's going to be a craft room woobie because I already found another one a few months back. Maybe I'll have one for each, each floor. I don't know. It might be my woobie for in the house. We'll see. And then these are, they may not look as purple next to this other brighter colors, but these are a lavender um, color and we got some new bath towels to add to what we have some hand towels and washcloths the little bundle of purple you see there those will be for my craft room and that back there is a bath mat but I'm going to use it as a mat outside my upstairs um, craft room I think I might have mentioned this when I was at Ikea I can't remember exactly so and then this is my chair the bottom parts out in the RV bay. I didn't need to bring the whole thing in now I already have I have a vintage Duncan Fife um, captain's chair that I've had for several years. I couldn't use it in Florida because the carpet was too thick. So it sat in the garage for the um, just under three years that we lived there. So that'll be used in my craft room. And I also have a vintage metal stool. It's really cool. It's like an old drafting stool. And then this is like on casters. It's like a little office chair. And it's just a fun, cute little quirky thing. So this might be my chair for upstairs. So I can roll around from my paper wall to my other storage. We'll see. I don't know. But I think it's really cute nonetheless. Plus, I like to have extra seating because I'm going to be able to accommodate five, possibly six of my, um, well, five, four minimum. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, four minimum of my crafty friends, possibly five. Counting me would be six of us in my downstairs room so it'd be nice to have some extra seating too so but yeah these are my purple finds from um i almost said hobby lobby from ikea there was so much purple there this time i couldn't believe it we haven't been since the first year we moved to florida we went to the one in orlando so that was 2016 so it's been a little bit since i've been to an ikea but um, I found some lovely things for sure. And I have a few more decorative pieces, but they're still in the other part of the house. But I just kind of wanted to end this video officially with all of my purple finds because I am the purple queen. That's right, self-titled purple queen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little vloggy bits. I'm sorry, like I said, um, when we were leaving the store that I couldn't do more. It's just Bella walking around on the floor. It's like she's tap dancing. We always say she's tap dancing. Come here, Bella. Come here. She's going to think I have some for. Come here. What do you think of all Mama's purple stuff? What do you think of all of it? Huh? Are you going to have a special bed out in Mama's craft room so you can come hang out with me? Huh? Are you excited? Checking it all out for me? So anyway, um, yeah, there were just a lot of people there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's the every time we've been to Ikea, it's always busy. Um, I'm sure it's busy all the time. But, you know, I don't like to especially get children in uh, my videos and stuff and there was just a lot of families and stuff there and we were kind of on a mission because we wanted to hit the freeway no later than three because it's a little bit over a two hour drive for us and it's up by the portland airport freeway before it got to be too late in the day so we didn't have um, a huge you know traffic jam or anything like that so um, i was just kind of focused on zoning in on the pieces i wanted to get and then i needed and then we kind of were walking around looking at stuff for you know because we were still remodeling our house i mean we just started all we've done so far I shouldn't say all because we've painted the walls that was one of the first things we did the whole entire downstairs except for the downstairs bathroom and the laundry room because those are going to be different colors and then steve has torn up almost all of our floor our carpet i'll show you a little bit he has the the front um that's you can see our walls we got like two-tone blue walls there the one on the right is darker and the one on the left is lighter that that's this half wall right here that's the only wall that has that um darker blue anyway so steve just has that front walk-in area it's like the formal dining room he just has that left to, to take care of so um we've um all the other downstairs is done and so you know we're just looking at some kitchen things and some options and stuff just kind of checking stuff out so we just kind of had a good time walking around for a couple hours and I just wanted to uh, kind of share part of that with all of you too. So this is, I know it's not just an exciting thing for me. I know a lot of you are very excited for me and that really, um, it means so much to me because even though I'm the one that's physically here, I feel like this is all for all of us because I share everything with you all on my different social media platforms and whatnot. So, all right, I'm just rambling. I'm kind of avoiding doing some, um, <laughs> something I don't want to take care of, but I have to. So I guess I better be a grown up and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you again for coming along with me. 
and I hope you enjoyed getting kind of a little peek at Ikea and the goodies that I'm going to be um, having in my craft room. So I will see y'all next time. So happy scrapping, happy planning, and happy crafting. And if you go to, are going to Ikea soon, happy Ikea shopping. And just look at all that purple love. How could you not be as obsessed as I am? Oh, Belle's going to start barking. Good time to sign off. See you next time. Bye.